In this video we're going to learn how to create a very simple query so we can examine some of the data in this table. If I just double click we can see I've got a few records in here and we'll be doing a little bit of querying of that data. So let's close this down go to create and then I'm going to go straight to query design Now we only have one table in this database, so I'm going to add that. And we can see it's appeared up here. Now, in order to view some of this information in a list format which we can query, what I'm going to do is I'm going to left mouse click and drag the first name drag the last name and let go and also the city into this query by example grid we've got three fields first name last name city now if I go up to the top left and click view you can see the output from this query is just these three fields that you've chosen and what we want to do is if I click on design view again where it's got criteria I'm going to type in London and hit enter now what we're saying here is that the criteria for our query is to show all records that have London as the city and notice it's put quotes around this automatically for you so let's go up to view and we've got three records here. Go up to view again, back to design view, I'm going to delete that. We can click view again and we've got all our records back. We don't just have to filter on the city field, we can also for example do it by last name. So go to view last name hit enter go up to view actually I've misspelt that so if we go down there I think it was Thompson there we go we've got both records for that particular person so delete that we can also add in other fields here. So let's say for example I just wanted to have the date of birth field in there and I wasn't interested in the city field. I can actually just click that column up here see there's a little marker there and just hit delete. And Now if I look up there look at the results there's no city column so you can basically choose what columns you want to include. So I'm going to get city and drag that down onto this column and it pushes the date of birth column over to the right. So we've got four fields here. We're going to ignore using the notes field for now. That is how you can create a very very simple query. I'm going to close this query now save the changes QRY is what I use to prefix the query name and I'm just going to call this simple query click OK so over the left here we can see TBL we've got a client uh, a clients table a very simple query and a form. So if I double click that query it will automatically show a filtered list if you've got something in the criteria section. We haven't so let's see what happens. I'll go to view and I'm going to say let's only show everybody in London. Let's close down this query and just run it again. 
So whenever you run that query, it will show that filtered list by London. If I click on view and delete that, we may say, well, how about running the query and having it popping up a question asking us what we want to filter by. So this is what they call a parameter query. So you put in open square bracket, I'm going to put enter city and close square bracket. I'm going to close that down, save the changes and I'm going to double click again on this simple query. Now it's asking us to enter a city. I'm going to put in Brighton and click OK. Now we've got a list of anyone who is in Brighton. I'm going to close it again, run it once more. I'm going to put London in this time. Click OK and that shows everybody in London. So this little customization here is called a parameter query and it can be very very useful if whenever you run a query you want to filter by different things each time. That concludes this brief introduction to creating a simple query.